This dead human downloaded lines of code from the Black Cab network mere moments before dying. It appears the network has been tampered with, and poorly. This code is amateurish, crammed in there like a pack of crayons in a dim child's nose. There's even a comment attached to the code. What does it say? No words, just bit strings. Gibberish, and not enough of it to compile any useful data. Are you telling me some maniac has hacked the Black Cab network and is running people over? Exactly, but I need more data to be sure. I think we'd best find some more cabs and get their bit stringy thingies so we can track down this hacker. Ready to ram the vehicle. Over. What have we got, Bagley? The same crude code with bit strings in a comment. I'll try converting them. Control! We are still on the suspect. Over. Don't run past. All we ask, let us... What was that? So these bit strings came from an audio file and not, as I suspected, from someone kicking their keyboard down a spiral staircase. Pack another cab and I can decode the rest. The black cabs are still targeting and hurting people, so you better hurry. I now have enough bit strings to complete the audio file. Let's see. With all due respect, these are broker tech employees, your employees being run over by your product. Don't you want what's best for your employees? Sky Larson knows full well what is best for her employees, Lieutenant, and that is why the black cabs will remain operational. But surely taking the cabs offline wouldn't affect your bottom line? All we ask is for Albion's cooperation as we resolve the situation internally. Let us worry about our bottom line. What? Broker Tech product is killing its own workers. I've gone over all the victims of black cabicide and they all have two things in common. Very poor reflexes and their employer, Broker Tech. So is this another one of Sky Larson's neural mapped victims? That's right, a former cabbie. Broker Tech partnered with the city to automate their cabs and now the cabs are getting their revenge. Nobody's gonna stop this besides us. So what can we do? We still need to find this AI's location. Hack into another cab and I'll see if it has a readable user history. Download complete. It appears the code alterations have been coming from a parking garage in Westminster. I can't believe we're actually going to help those twisted nutters at Broker Tech. Then again, do they deserve to die just because Sky Larson is an evil fuck? The creator-creation relationship can be a dark and complex thing. See Frankenstein, bride of Frankenstein, son of Frankenstein. Uh, okay, yes. Hey, enough shit in London. We have to go get the killer AI and kill it first. Temperature rising. You can't do this to me. I've been a cabbie all my life. I've got the knowledge. Please, don't make redundant. Kill them, I'll do it. Bloody automation. Unauthorized access. Group vehicles on local network. Initiate signal interference. What's going on here? The AI is rerouting computer power to jam the deletion process. Insert a tired jam related wordplay here. Check it.
Not much choice. Can't turn down. Where? I sign? What kind of house? Am I? I can't see. To drive again? Let's do it. Signal interference failed. Reboot. Help, help, help me! I've isolated the source of the signal jam. You know what to do. Please shut. Network operational. Change my mind. Run diagnostics. She did this. It was her. Override code. I will find. Why is this deactivated? When did this shut off? Checking elsewhere. That stuck the banana up the tailpipe. Every black cab in London just came to a stop. Now Scarpa or they'll kill you for sure. and immediately started again. They must have reverted to an older backup system. Initial reports indicate that they've lost their killer instinct. Do you think the AI was trying to kill Sky Larson? Was that its ultimate goal? Can't say I blame it. If only it didn't kill innocent people in the process.